Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. Haven't made a long form video post in quite some time, just haven't had the time. Um, just been, you know, just trying to satisfy everybody's needs for their, their outdoor needs and what have you. And, um, um, but I, I, th I thought it was time to jump on camera again to show you something. One of the cool things about running uh, the Ring of Fire is that our customer base, we really establish relationships with them. It's not transactional based for the most part. Here I have a product, give me your money, product is delivered, thank you, goodbye. We have deep lasting, uh, long lasting relationships with these customers. Uh, we're all intertwined by the love of smoke and flame and cooking outdoors and um, what's really cool is that some of these uh, cats um, send us their content they send us videos they send us pics of uh, what they're cooking user generated content it's the best that you can that you can get and um i had uh, um, uh, one job that we wrapped up recently in brooklyn little did i know that he is the brooklyn chef he's on TikTok and some other social media platforms this guy absolutely crushes it in terms of his cooking ability, I feel so fortunate that we were the ones chosen to help supply this insane outdoor kitchen that he put together. I mean, for God's sake, the, the guy's got a, he's got a Moberg smoker, so you know that he plays for keeps when it comes to outdoor cooking. But he just sent me a video where he made a, uh, an Asian-inspired um, chicken, and he did it on his Alfresco 42-inch grill with the rotisserie. The reason I'm posting this video is this is an absolute... Um, if this isn't a, a, a statement as to why you need to start using your rotisserie on your grills, I don't know what is. I mean, I've talked about this before. There's so many people who, when they look at these grills, particularly the high-end ones, they ask me, is there an option not to get a rotisserie? And I tell them, you have no idea what you're missing on and is the best way to cook chicken. The best prime rib I've ever made in my life has been on a rotisserie, um, spinning over hot coals. It's amazing. Well, this cat absolutely nails it. Look at this video he created. It's about a minute long. I'm just going to let it roll and let it speak for itself. Don't sleep on your rotisserie. Here we go, TikTok. Five spice Chinese rotisserie chicken. We've got soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, onion powder, garlic powder, five spice seasoning, rice wine vinegar, sugar, chopped garlic, and sprigs of onion. <laughs> chicken marinade into the bag. Shake, shake, shake. Throw it in the fridge. Minimum four hours up to overnight. Give it a couple flips. Now you're gonna make your basting marinade. To make your basting marinade, you're gonna take your chicken out of your bag. You're gonna use the chicken marinade. Now you're gonna add into the chicken marinade sugar, the rest of the ingredients. Butter up the chicken, truss the chicken, get it on your skewer, throw it onto that rotisserie. Oh yeah. Now with about 20 minutes left on your cook, you wanna go ahead and use the basting marinade, get that on there. Remember it's got sugar in it, so don't put it on too early, you don't want it to burn. Remove this baby at about 157 degrees internal temp. It'll continue to rise to that perfect 165. Enjoy.